Hello, Mr. Turtle. Have a good day, mate. Right, Righto guys, we need to stop and take five and just appreciate how bloody beautiful this is right now. Mother Nature putting on her show. Holy shit! It's so nice, isn't it, Stridey? Look at that. Wow, man. Yesterday was one of the proudest moments in my life, personally. I got to give my dad and my brother a brand new Sea Doo jet ski, which is just mind blowing, very emotional. My dad's pretty shy in front of the camera, but he was just over the moon. He didn't know what to expect, he didn't know what to say, didn't know what to do. Well, you guys know how I bought my brother and his family a jet ski. Well, also, I got my dad one too. Oh, I'm feeling great, bro. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, I'm really gonna do that. <laughs> oh, I don't really have too many words. I get a little bit emotional, but thank you guys so much, honestly. Three skis in the water for the first time ever. The missions that we're gonna do on this and the plans that we got are insane. I can't wait to show you guys and do them. Okay, and that's the next YBS mothership. What do you guys reckon? <laughs> I better start saving now. Probably like, what the hell is this weird Australian boy? I wonder where that's from. What's happened right now is that today it's absolutely beautiful and what was meant to happen is Dad, Jacko and myself were meant to be out here right now going on the first ski fari on a hell mission on those three jet skis. But unfortunately there's a cyclone off the coast and it's heading straight towards where my mum and dad live, like straight through the middle. It's a category four at the moment, which is nasty. Jared and a couple of the boys are meant to be at the back there spearfishing, so we're gonna see if we can go find them first. And obviously you know how it is on the way, we're looking for stuff, we're just exploring. I got my fishing rod, I got my spear gun, I got Strider Dog, and I got my drone. So we're ready for an adventure guys and Holy shit. It is 15 meters deep here and it is so bloody clear today. It is blue as blue. I can see every single little grain of sand on the bottom. This is the clearest I've seen it in so long. And so, I did not think this was gonna happen. This is actually wild. It is, oh my God, I gotta get in the drink. This spray's just come straight up off the bottom, straight at me just to check me out. G'day mate. Oh my God. I've never seen that happen before. I was like, what is that coming off the bottom? And I wasn't filming. Bit of baby shampoo. So I can't find the boys. I don't know where they've gone. I need to get in on this blue water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go for a little free dive, hang around the jet ski. <laughs> you stay there. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh. 
I don't recommend diving by yourself or solo, even if you have a lot of experience like me, but I want to go get in, get some dinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay about mid-water. This GoPro that I got on my head doesn't have a super suit, so you can only go to 10 meters. So if I go past 10 meters, this thing will start beeping at me. So I'm going to try to get one of those Cavallis or a tuna or maybe a Mac that swims past. Just a, just a shallow water pelagic. I'm not going to bump to the bottom or anything like that. And we'll see if we can get ourselves a feed for later because we've actually got no fish at home. We're out. We eat so much fish and uh, that's the plan. So let's find some bait, get in the water, and fingers crossed we get lucky. It fell off the spear strider. I can't believe we did that. Whoa! We got dinner, baby! Yes! <laughs> oh, oh, that shark's a bit angry. Whoa! <laughs> What you want to do is you want to put the fish to sleep or kill the fish quickly as possible so they don't suffer. So I knife it just to put it out of its misery and then I bleed it straight away. It preserves the flesh, it makes it wider, nicer and more tasty when you go and cook it later. Wow, guys, that's a bluefin trevally. Arguably one of the best eating trevallies in the ocean. I absolutely love these guys. I don't even know if I've cooked up one of these for you guys before. But I'm so, so happy that swam past. So lucky. And also it fell off the spear and somehow I managed to grab it by its tail and wrestle it back up to the surface away from the sharks. See those fins there? Look how blue they are. Absolutely beautiful fish. Thank you, mate. I will not waste any of you. Yes! I'm so happy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go for an explore now. I can't find the boys, but that's all good. So I might go back inside the reef, look for a tiger shark or a hammerhead shark. That would just, that would seal it. That would just be the, yes, the best thing. And then I'll shoot back home and cook yourself. When I get excited, I just can't talk. <laughs> Do you guys see anything wrong with this picture? I just put my shirt on back the front. If you want these, Adventure shirts, youngbloods.go, go check it out. Really appreciate all your support, guys. Did you guys see when I was lining up that fish how many times I played around with the safety because I just lost track of my mind because I seen that blue finch of valley and I was just so excited. I was just like, dit, dit, chit, dit, chit, dit, <laughs> and eventually just popped it. Oh no, Brody, I need to settle down. Woo! All right. Oh. Just gotta clean up the jet ski a bit. Put some fish on that ice. Put some fish on that ice. <laughs> oh, these guys know how much I love spearfishing. You know how much I like living from the ocean. I've done it my whole life. But I do have to say, sustainability is the most important thing. And I really, truly believe in it. And it gets more important every day for me, realizing what's happening to the world around us and what might it be in like a hundred years or something like that. I only take what I need. It hasn't always been that way. When I was a grommet, there wasn't enough awareness about it. And I'd, you know, I'd always take a bag limit or one too many fish that I don't need. Man, that's, that's dead now, you know. We don't need to do that anymore. We need to enjoy the ocean, film it, share it. Like just hop in, swim with a turtle. You don't have to go out and bag out on fish. That's my personal belief. Obviously, my GoPro just dropped. You guys can do what you like. I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't do but I'm gonna try and set the best example for you guys, and that's what I believe in. Wow, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 
Well, you've got a you got a 12 kilo wahoo, and there's holy shit. All right, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See ya. Sammy. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Where are you? I am right in front of the ramp almost. The ramp. But back of Jared just called me, and he said he shot a wahoo. And there's heaps of wahoo coming in at his 30 meter spot at the back of the reef. Let's get there. So I'm heading there now and I'll see you there. Alright, right, see ya. Bye. Holy Whoa! Holy shit, this just escalated. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pack I was just about to put a drone up in there, but now I'm gonna pack that up, punch back out the back of the reef, find Jared. Wahoo, they could be on. We'll get in the drink and see what's going down, baby. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I bet, oh my God, the flies. I bet you guys are dying to see what just happened. But that's gonna be in the next episode. I'm gonna make these guys wait. It was pretty cool out there. Lots of sharks. Jared got that big wahoo. And you have to wait till next episode to see that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start cruising back towards the boat ramp. I might get the drone up in the air, might go for another little explore, but I got myself a bluefin to valley to cook up, and I am starving. I'm absolutely starving. How do you reckon, Strider? Shall we? Let's go. So next week, I'm super excited because I'm heading to the Bolas Islands, and I don't really know what to expect. I've never been there. I put a few posts up on Instagram asking where I should go and, and what I should visit and stuff, and a lot of you guys said the Bolas Islands, and I honestly cannot wait. It's meant to be absolutely crazy and beautiful over there, so make sure you just tune in. Just like that, it's night time. I got kind of distracted. Jared come around. We did some Wahoo science with Jared. The sunset was beautiful. Have a go at the sunset out the backyard. Absolutely insane. Jared's just finishing up, cleaning. Oh, Jacko, the dad bod, just rocked up for a little bit of a chat. Absolutely beautiful, man. Woo! And now I was just like, oh man, I need to eat something. I need to cook dinner. So I had my beautiful bluefin javelli that I got today. And I missed the shop, so I'm just gonna cook this with whatever I've got in there. So I'll see what happens when I get in the kitchen. I actually have no idea what I've got. Probably not much. So we can quickly take the fillets of this guy, which I am still so stoked about. How about the nicest today, hey? That viz, honestly, just makes everything such a dream. But they're super fast growing, and they spawn a lot of eggs, so that makes them a great fish to target. And this flesh looks beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll quickly take these fillets off, and I'll see you guys back inside in the kitchen, and we'll get right into it. This razor sharp, absolutely brutal sometimes lump on the back between their tail and their body there, that can get nasty. So when you're handling these guys, watch out for that. So welcome to cooking with Brody. It's not very exciting. <laughs> Lightly seasoned fish, salt and pepper. Only go salt and pepper. Chuck that in there. These guys have watched me do this a thousand times. Everywhere. So my mum and dad messaged me saying they got home safely and it's not too bad down in their town at the moment. That cyclone's actually de-intensified a little bit and it's meant to cross the coast in a day or two. So hopefully everything goes fine there. Dad's already sent me about a thousand photos of the jet ski. Here we go, the moment of truth. Woo! We got fire baby! We got fire, baby. <laughs> you guys don't really want to watch me do this. I'll see you when it's cooked. Whoa, that's bad. They need to go in the bin. Ooh, baby. Oh, wow, that's so really nice. You guys know how it is. We'll see you in a couple of days. Thank you so much. You.